Okay, so, hello guys, it's me, Gaming Star here, and today I am back with another episode of Phoenix Ray Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. Last time, we basically started off the stolen turnabout. We started off the investigation, um, and that's pretty much all we did. And this time, we're gonna go ahead and start the trial. Let's go. Hey, Nick, what is it? Something wrong? Nah, but did you see all the people here? It's crazy. Oh, oh so let's check out the mask mask. It's glossy. But... You bought this? Where? From the little tents in the front of the courthouse. They have all sorts of things for sale. You know, I'm sucker for that kind of stuff. Mask mask gets publicity photo. Shot striking a pose. Come on, I'm guilty. Throw the book at me. Screaming like that. Oh, Mr. Wright, you made it. Yeah, I did, but it doesn't seem it's going to get any less something from here. Because I did it, I was a criminal. Me, me, me. Oh, he said it again. I sent a calling card to Lori Taylor. I admit it. But you don't have the sacred urn, right? Well, that's true, but that doesn't mean that I didn't commit the crime. Normally, when I say, of course you didn't, I'm being sarcastic, but you did. did. Anyway, I admit that I'm guilty. So make sure to give me a guilty verdict. Please. Oh, there you are, Ronnie. Bonjour, sweetie. Oh, the Desi, honey. Bonjour. Well, actually, I don't really know why I should be speaking French to you. Uh, got time like this. Give it to me, Ronnie. I swear I'll protect you. Um, uh, ah, well, uh, you see, actually, let's see if this. Hmm. I can tell you something, Nicky boy. That I can guarantee my Ronnie is innocent. If he declares guilty, I'll be ever cross. Uh, I'll be able to cross with you. So why are you smiling when you say it? Well, if you excuse me, I've got some errands I need to take care of. I'm counting on you, Nicky boy. Good luck. To be honest, I really don't know whether Ron is. Whoa! <laughs> Mask and mascara. Nah, I uh, accidentally kind of okay, my chair. But there's one thing I'm sure of it. He really doesn't have the secret urn right now. I'm actually slain though right now. Mr. D. Light, time for it to enter the courtroom. For the time being, I guess I'll have to trust this, uh, this idea. We're gonna meet the new prosecutor in this case. Court is now set for the trial of Mr. Ron D. Light. The defense is ready, Your Honor. About the pro what about the prosecution? Are you prepared to... What a stupid question. What did you say? Fine. Let me ask you then, Your Honor. Are you ready? Are you ready to pass judgment? What? No. I, I'm not. I will pass judgment after I hear your arguments from both sides. Well, if you're not ready yourself, you shouldn't expect others to be. That's a rule to live by. Uh, who are you? I'm Gallot. Oh, his team! <laughs> Legendary prosecutor. I have never lost a case. Aha, uh -huh, he's the one that Detective Anatomy was talking about. Yes, your reputation precedes you. What kind of cases you have dealt with so far? Ha, huh, none. What did you say? I've never prosecuted a case before. Never? But you said you've never lost before. Exactly. I've never lost. I've never won before either. Quite arrogant for a beginner, aren't you? Even the mightiest of redwoods began their lives as a mere saplings. Yes, but a mask in a court of law? <laughs> don't you know anything? No matter the man, we all wear masks. Either on our faces or over our hearts. This guy's a real deal, alright, Nick. Why does it seem like all prosecutors are the real deal? So we finally meet Mr. Phoenix Trite. Nick, is he a friend of yours? No, I don't have any friends that call me Trite. Just who is this masked man? I have returned from the depths of hell to do battle with you. Well then, er, Prosecutor Gobo. It's not Gobo, it's Gadot, Your Honor. Godot. Godot or Gadot. I call him Gadot. I'm not supposed to be Gado, but I call him Gadot. So, uh, I'm sorry I'm sorry if you hate my pronunciation, but I call it Gadot. I'm, I'm not supposed to be Gadot. I know. I know. But just bear with me for this. Just please bear with me. Please give your opening statement. Opening statement? Those things are not fit for even dogs to consume. I have only one thing to say before we start. To you, Mr. Trite. What is it? Are you familiar with the saying, A chain is only as strong as its weakest link? I wonder. 
how much you can withstand before you and your case break into you. Hmm, well, let's hear from the first witness. Uh, my name is... No one has asked for your name, witness. Oop. The important thing is that you know... Oh, sorry. Start talking. We're listening. Yes, sir. Alright, witness. First, let's hear about what you know about the thief who stole the urn. Yes, sir! Okay, let's listen. Master Masquez Crimes. Here we go. Master Masquez is the master thief that first started his crime spree six months ago. He is so confident that he sends his calling cards before he even commits the crime. This was his fifth heist, and as usual, he sent the card to Lordy Taylor. His pattern is to always go after the only most precious of art pieces. That's why we're sure of it was Master Masquez or fits his M.O. to a T. Hmm, so then the actual identity of this Master Masquez is... Mr. Gala, what are you... We're in the middle of trial here, Mr. Gadda! Blacker than a moonless night, hotter than more bitter than hell itself. That is coffee. <laughs> I'm sure you can grant me at least this much, Your Honor. Oh, please, proceed. Very well, it's only coffee, after all. What? You can't be letting him sign the earliest trial? Proceed with your cross examination, Mr. Wright. Well, Nick, what are you going to do? As long as they haven't brought up Mr. D. Light's identity. We all can do show that it wasn't Master Masquez who stole the urn. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Objection! Can I ask you a little something, Detective Gumshoe? Just hearing the little in that question is making me nervous. You said that he always goes after the most precious art pieces, right? That's right, pal. But there's one problem. That's not what he did in this case. The supposed priceless urn doesn't exactly raise the level of precious art. What do you mean? Nick, how can you say such a terrible thing? No, I meant from a financial point of view. I mean, it wouldn't fetch a good price. Or Prosecutor Gada? What are the value of that art? The prisoner spoke then said he couldn't attach a price to it. And I mean that in the worst sense. So in other words, it's not the kind of item that Masuka Masuka would normally go after. <laughs> Hmm, I understand you correctly, Mr. Wright. You're saying that the, the fee for the sacred urn was not the work of Master Masque? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Actually, all I did was point out the contradiction. The argument itself, but... Well, first of all, we need to get this issue cleared up. Was this last robbery the work of Master Masque or not? What do you have to say about this, Mr. Gallop? This coffee here is my own special blend. I call it Gallop uh, number 107. I'm trying to decide whether to cut down on the acidity or bitterness. That's the only thing I've got in my mind right now. Mr. Trite. What? If you're really a man, you should clean up your own mess. Uh, sorry, but I don't get what you mean. If you're saying it was a master masque, that's still the urn. Then it must be someone intimidating the master masque's methods. A fake. A, a fake de masque? Fake de masque. That sounds so ridiculous, but I like it. Now, before I decide on the coffee, I believe some proof is in order, Mr. Trite. Proof that the person who appeared at Lordy Taylor that night was actually a fake. Hmm, I thought I don't approve of Mr. Gallus' behavior. This point is valid. Mr. Wright, we're waiting. Looks like I'm going to have to prove it. They proof that this is fake. Treasure exhibit poster. Security camera photo. Alright, so here's the security camera photo. And then let's check out the wait a minute. I already see a huge contradiction. He has a thing on the uh like a little thing on his chest. It's missing. Security photo. The proof is right here. This looks like the photo taken by security camera, but if you look closely, you'll notice something particular about it. Walden, well why don't you go ahead and show us what that is? Go on, just point and show us what's in particular. It's right here, the chest area. It's missing. It's right here, of course. You mean Master Masque? 
I have here a piece of reference I would like to court to take a look at. Isn't that the publicity photo I brought this morning? The problem I have with the security camera photo is the broach the musket's chest. A bro breach. Here, bailiff, get my steed. We need to retreat at once. A brooch, your honor. It's sort of a class when holding one's cape on. A class, eh? Ah, I see now. <laughs> but the mask of my skin, the security camera photo. Ah! He has no brooch! The brooch is the same as the emblem in the Damascus calling card serves as symbol. But that thief that broke into Lordy Taylor wasn't wearing a brooch. In other words, this mask of my skin is a fake! I've been fooled again! Oh, oh no. it's true, humble, lively true. Detective Gumshoe, how, how could you ever look this? I'm sorry, sir. I don't know how I. Hey, now, if you're gonna have a pity party, invite me too. <laughs> Mr. Gatter, you deserve some blame in this too. How could you have overlooked such a large brooch? Ha, the brooch you're talking about? Talking about? You mean this. Ah! That's. Damascus, Mas Damascus brooch. Where did you find it? Well, I've always had a good nose for evidence. I got it at the crime scene. It was hidden in the shadow of a big female Buddha statue. Buddha statue? He must mean the Ami face statue. Why did you tell me about this, sir? I've always put evidence away in my pocket. After all, it's the safest place for crucial evidence. Yeah, this guy's one cool customer. It's a little early to shake it up, isn't it, little lady? That friend of yours left pretty little hickeys on there, too. Hick hickeys? Figuratively speaking, of course. I'm referring to Ron Delight's fingerprints. What? What? The defendant's fingerprints were on the brooch! Oh, the, oh no, the call it! Mr. Gatta, let's see that brooch! I've grown attached to my metallic girlfriend here. Take good care of her. Hmm, she, I mean it, appears to have been torn off some clothing. There's a little bit of cloth he left on the back. Obviously, there must have been a big struggle that night at the crime scene. Uh-oh, Phoenix, we had a problem. Huh, you mess with Gata? And you get burnt. Ah, he's been playing with me like a violin. Oh, Judge, I'm about ready to call my next witness. Huh? You're done with me? But I haven't proved anything yet. You've proven in your own incompetence. That's good enough. That doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> Bailiff, bring the next witness to the courtroom. Finally, time for the ace detective to make its appearance. Huh? Oh boy. Oh boy. One second is one drip of the coffee pot. Let's hurry it up. Shh! Silence! <laughs> now I see it's all becoming clear. What's clear? Zavadi! The truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me. What we have here is a judge and a prosecutor. A coffee maniac at that. Am I correct? Well, yes, that's right. Ha, huh, not bad. Not bad at all. You're the first person that's ever been able to penetrate my secret veil. Well, sir prosecutor, let me introduce myself. My name is Luke Atme, ace... <laughs> Rising star, eliminating the heavens. Boy, these two make perfect pair. They either be best friends or they tear each other heads off. I've heard that on one night of the crime, you were all alone in security detail. You have heard correctly. My specially made monocle is worth more than 100 detective gumshoes. If detective gumshoe was worth anything, that is. Oh, that burned all. Hmm. How is this guy all by himself anyway? There must be some reason, I'm sure of it. Wallen, tell us what this special monocle of yours witnessed. What I witnessed. Alright, let's see. It was approximately 1 o'clock in the morning. Just after the date changed. That's when my nemesis, the infamous Mask de Masque, densely descended upon me. Just as I began to turn, the coward struck a fierce blow upon the noble head. Darkness swallowed me before I could land a single strike. When I woke, he was gone. 30 minutes later, I used an emergency phone to notify the police. So you didn't get a clear look at the criminal? My specialty main monocle never misses a thing. However, that is limited to things that fall within my own visual range. But of course, that's only natural. 
I fail to see why the witness seems to be surprised this performance that evening. <laughs> Swell, sir, old timer, let me explain. We are not speaking any ordinary thief, but the king of thieves, the great master masque, my arch enemy. That is what my instincts and my years of experience tell me. Hmm. Very well. Proceed with the cross examination, Mr. Wright. Okay. Third of fourth. Alright, let's here we go. Uno, dos, tres. Objection! Mr. Atomy? Oh, fuck. Could you take a look at this with its special monocle of yours? Aha! This belongs to the criminal mastermind, my arch nemesis, Mask de Masque. It is with a point of fact, Mask de Masque's brooch. It was found at the floor of the basement warehouse. I wonder how that happened. Huh. Elementary, my dear lawyer. Obviously, it wasn't glued on the well enough. Not quite. It clearly shows signs of having been ripped off piece of clothing. Ripped off. Aha! You can only deduce that the thief struggled with someone at that night. That's the only thing I can think of. And there's only one person that has positioned to struggle with the thief. The only person that has security duty that night. You, Detective Atomy. Gah! Detective Atomy, you must have fought with the thief that night. So why did you lie in your testimony to the court? What's this? Giving false testimony is a serious crime. Er, uh, I... No, 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 no. Wait, just a moment, sir, old timer. Don't talk to me like I'm living nursing home! <laughs> <laughs> just remembered, Your Honor. I was just confused because I'm dealing with so many cases lately. The true measure of a man is the amount of work he does. That's what I always say. Nick, you can all handle one case at a time. Isn't that right? You talk too much! Witness, so are you saying now that with a thief, you and that thief fought? Hold on, that's quite enough, Your Honor. I excuse me. Save the big questions for the testimony. That's one of my rules. Indeed, I understand. I look at me. Agree completely. <laughs> I can't even fucking know how dumb it is. Alright, here we go. Alright, here we go. Indeed, it's true that I looked away from the door for a brief moment. Okay, here we go. However, look at me cannot be so easily discom- discombluted. Unfortunately, the thief grabbed the weapon from the side and rendered me senseless. A true gentleman fires only with his own fist, but they were not enough. A first blow struck true. BAM! And that's all she wrote. So in the end, you did catch a glimpse of Masque de Masque. Correct. It was during his third crime that he struck me from behind. It seems that my memory has become a tad jumbled, so to speak. Hmm, well, that's certainly understandable. I myself always get confused about which house money goes in which case. That can't be good. <laughs> God damn it, Judge. I hate it. <laughs> oh my god, Judge. Why? Okay, here we go. It's fifth statement. Uno, dos, tres... Cuatro, cinco. Hold it, baby. Can you tell us a little more about what happened? My opponent was both powerful and vicious. You might say he was powerishous. Power vicious. I assumed the atomy fighting stance, but the sudden flash of light blinded me. That, of course, was checkmate. My opponent has bested me. What do you want to know, Giants? What about this? Atomy fight. Were you blinded? Leave it. Atomy fighting style. What the what is the enemy fighting style? I'm sorry, but as a trade secret, I really can't say anymore. But, I suppose I can tell you, you absolutely must. The main thing is you put your back on the wall. That way, no one can get behind you. That's it? That's the enemy fighting style? Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, what about his testimony? <laughs> it was very important. Of course it's important. You learn to take the secret technique, after all. Yes, indeed. I remember to use it after I take a long walk at night. Why the heck is he eyeballing me like that? It's creeping me out. Now then, witness. I'll go ahead and add the secret information to your official testimony. I put my back to the wall to fight, but the feast blow landed upon my third eye. Heh <laughs> <laughs> Detective Atomy, your testimony is crumbling like a house of cards. What fun is this, sir, lawyer? It's truly a pleasure to cross swords with you. And now, once again, you have thrown down the gauntlet at our armored feet. I believe this is what she said yesterday. 
No, the coward must have wormed his way into the somewhere besides the door. Then my arch nemesis struck him in the head from behind with some gruesome item here. From behind, huh? Just now you were testified that he struck you in the forehead. I don't think you could forget where you were hit on the head. <laughs> Seems I've made another mistake. Detective Adamy, that's not the only strange part of your testimony. What do you mean by that? For example, the very fact that you hit the calling card from the police itself is strange. It almost as if you were afraid you were going to help at security. <laughs> she needs our situation. I've always been misunderstood. How sad. That's wrong. Wow, that objection, bro! I've, I've never heard that objection in years. In like, in like two years, three years. To uh, human. To forgive divine. Humans aren't machines. They have in souls. Feelings. They live, they die, they love, they hate, and yes, they even make mistakes. Hey, hold on! I it's not pretty as that! Really? What is it like then? Always chase a riddle down and that's one of my rules. You have so many fucking rules, get on the fucking wrist. This is it. This might just be my chance to turn things around. Mr. Wright, what exactly is that you're asserting? Very well, Your Honor. The defense asserts that Mr. Adamy is no a detective. This Mr. Adamy is Master Masque. The answer is simple. It's all clear to me now. Detective, look at me. Try that he's actually Master Masque. Yes. Oh shit! Oh, order oh, the court, Mr. Wright. What is the meaning of this? There are too many natural parts to Adamy's story. He says he was hiding at the crime scene, which is why no one ever saw him there. And then, in his last case, he mentions to outperform Detective Gumshoe and the entire police force to miraculously retrieve the stolen treasure. Th that's because I analyzed the crime scene data and made exquisitely elegant deduction. I picked up clues that the police overlooked in order to arrive at it. <laughs> oh, please. The explanation is far simpler than that, Detective Adamy. The truth is that you are, in fact, Master Masque. But Mr. Wright, this photo clearly shows Master Masque. The security camera belongs to the Lordy Taylor department store. He shouldn't have been able to manipulate it. He didn't need to manipulate it. He gained access to the warehouse under the pretense of pro providing security. He has a big ass fucking nose though. So but just bass the thief and stole the urn. So the ace detective is actually an ace thief. This is true witness. Uh -huh. <laughs> Basket Masque is the most pure genius and so am I. Look out to me, ace detective. You're very clever to have come to such conclusion. I'm impressed, sir, lawyer. What? What's this? You're an idiot? Nick, how's now's your chance? Yeah, it's time to put the last nail in this guy's coffin. Detective Anatomy, when you assume that that he's be- <laughs> Get out to number 112. My personal favorite. The ace detective is actually an ace thief. I smell a best-selling novel. There's only one problem. It simply isn't true. B -b Mr. Gatta, Mr. Wright has made some very strong points and I... I will admit my opponent has woven a compelling narrative out of the cloth. But it is, in fact, nothing more than a professional kit, Mr. Trent. If this detective really is the thief, then show us the proof you claim. But it had better be as hot and as perfect as the coffee dripping down your face. That hurts, bro! <laughs> well, Mr. Wright, don't just stand there! This corp would like to see the deceased proof you have. Quickly! Huh? Oh, yes, of course. Oh, what's with the big rush? Oh, you're all right, Nick. He looks pretty rattled right now. I'd like to finish this right now if I can, but I really don't. The sixth of that evidence that proves Mr. Look at me is, in fact, has yet to be found! Proof. Of course, I, I, I've got nothing. Ha! Just what I thought. A man has to hold his head up high, no matter how bad things get, after all. Uh, I see. I thought perhaps you had some evidence to back up your assertion. It's no good. I've had to stay on my attack. I'll never get another chance to prove that this guy's the thief. Don't give up, Nick. Think harder and try again. It's no good. I'm just not ready yet. But, but are you going to just give up and let us lose? So you've come to your senses. Have you, sir, lawyer? I uh, can't think of a... What an attack. It seems the cloud of suspicion surrounding this witness has lifted. Mr. Gadot? 
you have anything further to- What? Who? Huh? Who are you? That doesn't really matter right now, does it? Misty Light, what are you doing here? Mickey Boy! The thing you've been looking for? I think I found it. You mean, the bag? No, not the bag. This is what's in the bag. Well, that's... The sacred urn! Nick is the urn! Oh, shit! Oh, the... Oh, the... Oh, the... You, madam! That urn! Where did you find it? You'll never believe it. It was in the office of Mr. Fancy Pants Ace Detective, Luke Adamy. Oh, Desi, you're the best! It has pink splotches all over it. Well, how do you explain that one, Mr. Adamy? Even you are going to have a hard time weaseling out of this one. Ha! Huh. Pathetic. Mr. Gatta, do you have something you wish to say? Yes, Your Honor. It simply amazes me how quickly time changes. In the old days, a man was to be taken to his word. It was truly sad. You're still denying that Mr. Adamy was involved? Before casting aspirations, Detective Adamy considered the young lady here. Your name is Desiree. Decided you did light, is that correct? Yes, well, what about it? Ha, how charming. The lengths that woman was willing to save her husband is truly inspiring. What are you insinuating? As the wife of a criminal, you could have discovered that stolen urn anywhere. Including the office of the good detective here. So you found the urn, but does that prove? It certainly doesn't prove where the urn is found before we found it. What? It's brought it here in front of the detective's office! Please, madam. This town is already filled with the brim of lies. Any more could only compound the tragedy we have witnessed. You're wrong! I would never! I would never do such a thing! Misty Light! Please, Nicky boy, you've got to help me talk some sense to these people. There must be some way. I gotta prove that urn actually is in the enemy agency. Show fingerprints for the urn. I can prove where the urn was by the fingerprints on it. Fingerprints, eh? Oh, come on now! So now you're really making me laugh, sir lawyer. Fingerprints indeed. May I go on? Good. Now, it would be perfectly understandable if my fingerprints were on the urn. After all, it was I who was guarding the urn in the first place. In any case, I'm always in the habit of wearing gloves, as you can see. Uh, so, unfortunately, my fingerprints wouldn't be evidence of anything. What about it, Mr. Wright? So my fingerprints are nothing to Nick, what are you going to do now? I've come too far to turn back now. Adam, he must have brought the urn to the office yesterday. And there are someone supposed to left the fingerprints on it. The defense proposed the fingerprints should... This person should be on the... <laughs> hey, uh, hey, do you, hey, do you, hey, do you guys remember in the last episode? Do you guys remember in the last episode where we, where we straight up just like, um, where we accidentally touched the urn? Where, uh. <laughs> we did touch it, though. We did touch it, though. Hey, it's me. Us. So that's all the fuss about fingerprints, anyway. Mr. Adamy, do you recall the events of yesterday? Hey, Nick, come on, open it up. Hey, wait a minute, let's open his private property. It's just funny, Duddy. It's important investigation. What was in there? Hang on a sec, taking it out. Whatever, it's just kind of hard and slow. Well, hello there! It's us. It's true that I didn't get a chance to look at it in the bag in time. But, I did touch what was inside. What? You touched it?! And I remember it very well. It was smooth and hard. Well, her the dash is Your Honor, I'd like the court to examine the fingerprints on the urn. If I if my fingerprints are on there, then it proves that the urn was in Detective Adamy's office. Well, even if your fingerprints are on the urn, it still doesn't prove when they were put there, does it? Of course it does. What did you say? It's not what I say. It's what Adrian Andrews, the person in charge of the exhibition, says. I polished it until it was just about glowing. I thought maybe I could make it look more valuable. Because it's broken. If she polished it that much, she must have removed any all the fingerprints on it. And then the only chance I had to get my fingerprints on after that was yesterday at Adamy Detective Agency. Ha! This blend. Got out to blend number 107. I have decided. 
It's a little too bitter after all. Odd! 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 I accepted the fence's request! Bail it! Take the Zern and... Wait! Wait a moment, your honor. There's no need for that. No need, you say? Precisely. I already know Mr. Bet's been the prince around the earth. What are you saying? He hasn't put it down. <laughs> Take a good look, everyone. Unable to find a rubble worthy of my genius, I was forced to create one by myself. Here I am, the tragic clown. This guy is another than a fruitcake. You see, it was me all along. I am the one and only Vasque de Masque. <laughs> I hope you all enjoy my little performance. <laughs> Well, Mr. Gatta was Mr. Adamy's condition. He's still in the lobby, laughing insanely, Your Honor. I wish I could enjoy the joke as much as he seems to be. Well, it looks like the matter has been settled. I came previously close to Betrame the record of innocent young man. Betrame him with the title of thief. Nick, you were right, uh, right after all. Yeah, I guess Mr. Delight really wasn't the thief. The court finds the defendant, Mr. Ron Delight. You're wrong! Wrong, I tell you! I mean, not exactly wrong so much, but, ex but actually, not right is what I was trying to say. Oh no, he's not. This can't be happening. The thief, the sneaky obvious thief who's been stealing all the treasures. It's me, it's him! I'm the one you want! I'm the thief, I tell you! So do it! Pronounce me guilty, please! I don't know what kind of kangaroo core you, you all think this is, but... The tried daddy the thief's already been proven! Please hurry and pass judge- What are you talking about? I already confess. I'm the thief, I tell you! Mr. Gat, don't just stand there and drink coffee! Ha. Huh. Hey there, Mr. Thief. Yes, yes, sir! If you're really a man, then clean up your own mess. I I'm sorry, I'm afraid I just don't have any idea what you mean. You are Mask the Masque. Then prove it. Yes, sir. I'll be happy to. He says he'll be happy to, Nick. It's kind of cute. He's still 100% committed to his fantasy. Good boy. Just remember one thing. A boy only gets one chance in his life to become a man. I know that. I won't fail, I swear. He doesn't have the brooch on. I've noticed. Okay, then talk. We're all listening. Oh, well. But I'll have the list to this confession. <sighs> we were gonna get through this case so quickly, but no, it has to be long, though. The truth is, I've been masking masking all along. I mean, you can't prove that I actually... I'm not actually masking masking, can you? I don't have any alibi for the, for the night that Earn was stolen, after all. I donned the costume that night and dancing so descended upon the scene of the crime. Look, you can see right there in the photo, that's me. That's where I approached, I snagged it on the door handle and got torn off, that's all. Hmm, I don't like the direction the trial has taken, but this is however so every trial goes, at least with me anyway. Huh. You're doing great. <laughs> Stop it, Mr. Gadot. You're embarrassing me. Like I said, you're only going to get one chance to testify, alright? But if you make it through this with flying colors, I'll keep my promise too. And make sure you stay locked up in prison as the one who true domestic skin. Thanks so much, Mr. Gadot. I I'll do my best! All right, Mr. Wright, I'm afraid it's time for your cross examination. <sighs> oh, God, okay. Jackson! Mr. Delight, this wallet belongs to you, correct? Huh, yes, it does. I lost it somewhere. Mr. Wright, when you find a wallet, you should report to the police right away. Ha, huh, no, you don't understand. This is an important piece of evidence. <laughs> okay, funny enough, um, my mom actually did find a wallet in Italy. This is like, this was like two years ago. She actually found a wallet in Italy in a trash can. And like, my dad, my dad straight up was just like, this is in Italy, by the way. We were like at a train station. She found one, she found a wallet of a Chinese old lady in a fucking trash can. 
and my dad was just like, and my dad was just like, we have to turn to the police. We were in, we were in Chicoterre, which is basically five towns. Literally, that's what it means. We were in Monte. We were like in the train station for one of the towns, visiting each, and like like found the wallet. And and Papi was just like, my dad was like, let's go ahead and return to the police. And Mama, my mom was like, no, I want to keep no. If 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 and also there there was even a phone, a phone too. So a phone and a wallet, double. And and dad, Papi was like, let's turn to the police. And Mama was like, no, let's keep it. Besides, who knows? What, besides, who knows what could be in their money? Who knows? <laughs> Mama was just like that, and she was just like, "Okay." And Bobby was just like, "God damn it, going cheek, <laughs> been deep." <laughs> Evidence, Mr. D. Light. When did you first notice that you lost your wallet? Her. Let's see. I think it was on the night of the crime, but I know I still had it when Desi and I went out for dinner. This wallet was found approximately 1 a.m. at the KB Security Headquarters. What? Surely you're not serious. Yes, I am serious. This person that Mr. Light was in fact the KB security that night. No! So if the defendant was the KB security at 1 o'clock in the morning, then that proves that he was a wa watertight alibi. No! Furthermore, considering that this is between Lordy Taylor and KB security, ah oh, fuck. It would have taken 30 minutes to get there by car. According to Larry, anyway. Well, Mr. Gada, do you have anything to say? And STOP DRINKING THAT COFFEE! Come on, Mr. Thief. Don't let this guy beat you. Tell him why he's wrong. You're the only one who calls me Thief, Mr. Gadot. Alright, I'll try. I I'll do it. I will. He's really got Mr. D-Light all worked up. Yeah, he's like the kid at his first day of school. Look, it's just ridiculous. Why would I have dropped my wallet at KB Security? Someone must have planted it there to make it look like I was there at now that my heist. Planted it there? He really is reaching now. Mr. D-Light! You probably dropped your wallet when you took it out, uh, didn't you? The key card to KB Security CEO's office. No! Ha. Huh. That was a pretty good try, Mr. Trait. Unfortunately, you've overlooked one small thing. What? Motive, of course. Why would this thief go to KB Security in the middle of the night anyway? Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, looks like you need more evidence after that. You're a stupid kid. Now then, we'll see your evidence. The evidence that shows why Mr. went to KB Security in 1 a.m. 1 at night. So it was, um, blackmail letter. <laughs> Mr. Delay, I believe you've seen this report, correct? That's... what is this? A blackmail letter. That's what it looks like from the contents. B blackmail Yes. Basically it says, bring by $50,000. Hmm. That certainly sounds like a blackmailer, right? At the time of the theft, Mr. D-Light was dealing with the blackmailer himself. And KB Security can see his office a full half hour away from the scene of the crime. Ugh. No, 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 no! This is a lot of drinking of the coffee. I could, I could drink water to make that, but no. Oh, the, oh, oh, the. So when the theft of the urn occurred, the defendant was KB Security. It's a perfect case for the defense. You may say it was a perfect case. This is judge, but to me. Well, I'll say that my get up blend. I'm saying press leave me a lot more. What are you trying to say? You say that the thief was being blackmailed by CEO of the security company, but did you actually investigate the CEO at all? Huh? <laughs> no, I guess not. Accusing a man of blackmail with no proof. I'm not sure I think of that. Not sure I think of that. At least I know what I think of you. Hmm, good point. I'm not sure I think of myself. You claimed that the defendant entered the CEO's office, but you will need at least one witness to collaborate your claim, Mr. Wright. Nick, I think we're gonna have to track down the CEO guy. No, we don't have to track down the CEO at all. What do you mean by that, Mr. Trent? There's someone else who can testify. The person with key card was used at 1 a.m. that night. Lady motherfucking butts, bro. Larry. Who is this useless looking young man? You don't remember him, Your Honor? Hmm, not exactly. But just looking at him, picture makes the bile, the bile start to rise in my throat. 
Looks like he doesn't remember that case from two years ago. He probably blocked out the memory on purpose. Anyway, this man was working as a guard at KB Security that night. Oh. The question is saying is this key card. Yep, that's the key card that they use in the building at work. According to the serial number, the one is your CEO's office. You need it to get in that room, and every time you use that card, it leaves a record. Yeah, it tells you exactly who entered the room when when. Hmm. As you can see, there is no need to investigate the CEO of KB Security. We should be able to discover it simply by analyzing the case card's data. Right, here we go. Is it the end? It ain't the end. <laughs> it ain't the end. God damn, stop looking at the heart. Well, Mr. Gadot, the name of the CEO of KB Security is Kane Bulliard. I was unable to contact him directly, but I got the key card data here. So, what does it show? Each card has its own serial number and they leave detailed records of their use. According to the data, this card was used at 1 a.m. on the morning of the crime. Found in Ron's wallet, it was used at 1 a.m. That means it can't be Mr. Delight dressed with Master in his photo. Ha. Huh. It looks like you're right. Two minutes isn't even enough time to brew a good cup of joe. So, so then. Ron Delight is clearly in the office. Gave security's office CEO at the time of the crime. The prosecutor's office is ready to admit that fact. Therefore, it is impossible for the defendant to be Master Muskin. Good job, you did it, Nick! That's enough! Came previously close to burnishing the record of an innocent young man, burnishing him with the title of thief. What's wrong with your honor? I'm ready to pass judgment. Before I do that, do you have any further objections? No, your honor. <laughs> Very well. The court finds the defendant, Mr. Ron Delight, not guilty. Hey! Court is now adjourned. That's the end of the case. A pretty short one, right? Pretty short ass case, huh? Nick! He did it! You were right after all! Actually, I'm a little bit ashamed of myself. Nicky boy! Oh, Misty Light! I knew you could do it. I believed in you all along, Nicky boy. I don't know how I can ever repay you. Aw, shucks. Thanks, Misty Light. I don't know I'm watching. Congratulations, Mr. Nick! Oh, for pearls! I've got a bad feeling about this. <gasps> Who's this woman? Oh, she, she's nobody. She's just, uh... You're blushing! How dare you do this in front of Mystic Maya! You should be ashamed of yourself! Yeah! She slapped me! Um, Pearly? This woman is Miss Desiree Delight. She's our client's wife. <gasps> Mr. Nick! Yes? You're even worse than I thought. Going behind the back of your own client? No, 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 no! You got it all wrong! I'll never forgive you! Ow! A double slap! <laughs> well, anyway... All's well the ends well, right? We've got a sacred urn back at the thief has been caught. You're so right, and it's all thanks to Nicky Boy here. But actually, it was you, Misty Light, that brought us our back. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Oh, please, you're embarrassing me. If, if we won the case, then why does this guy still look so uh, But I am the thief, actually. What's the point? What is it, honey? I did my best for you, Ronnie. I know that, and I appreciate it, Desi. But the thing is... Come on, give the kids some time. She's just got a little touch of the blues. You know about the feeling blue, right? Amigo. Amigo. But Mr. Gatta, what are you doing here? He's Latino boy? Oh, come on. I just came here to say thanks to my newest buddy. You, Mr. Trite. Maybe you should learn my name before you call me buddy. Well, playtime's over. Huh? Early this morning, the body of Kane Bullard was discovered. Kane Bullard? Where have I heard that name before? Isn't that... The name of the CEO of KB Security? Wait, body? The estimated time of death was 1 a.m. on October 12th. 1 a.m. October... You don't mean... That's right, amigo. At the same time that cheap little urn was being stolen, the CEO of KB Security was being murdered. So then, what are you doing here? Oh, come on. You figured it out already, haven't you, amigo? Or have you already forgotten about that piece of info I helped you out with today? Helped me out? What? On October 12th at 1 o'clock in the morning, Ron Delight was in the CEO's office. The sense of the mur scene of the murder. After getting that blackmail letter, he must have been embittered with utter rage. 
What are you saying? And burned it with rage. Come on. Don't tell me you didn't know. But Ron Delight was once an employee of KB Security. He was a professional security guard. An employee of KB Security? It looks like the alibi that saved him from being convinced of thief is going to be a noose that gets him hanged. Kind of an anti alibi. No way. He can't be the thief because he was at the murder scene when the murder occurred. N no, that's a lie. It can't be true. Oh, but I, I am the thief, I tell you. Ron Delight, you're going back to prison again. It's time to charge is much more serious. You'll be tried for murder. What? This can't be. This is impossible. I'm looking forward to another exciting showdown, Mr. Trent. You and I aren't, aren't through with each other yet. Surely you won't back down for a challenge. You've never been a crown. Mr. Nick, is there some, some personal between you two? I've returned from the depths of hell to do battle with you. At least, let me have some fun while I'm here. This guy... Who the heck is he? He may be quite... But he's the most dangerous enemy I've ever faced! Well then, time to say goodbye to Mr. Delight. Nick, how could this be happening? Right in front of our very eyes, your client has been arrested for murder. And the one who established his presence at the scene was me. Yeah, Ronnie! Arrested for murder on the very same day he's declared innocent of the emergency. What the heck's gonna happen next? Okay, so anyway, we're gonna end up somewhere here. It's a pretty long one. So we hope you guys enjoy. Please like, comment, subscribe, or whatever. And next time, we're gonna go ahead. And continue on with this case. Well, now we're in the murder half of the invest, uh, the murder half. So this case definitely took a, a weird turn. So now we're in the murder half of, of it. So uh, yeah, let's go. See you guys then.